Hey guys, this is Marcus, also known as the Nomad Thrifter. I hope everybody is doing okay today. So, question, how are your sales on whatever platform? It could be Poshmark, Macari, eBay, Etsy, whatever, whatever you're using. And I almost wanna, I, was, I have a feeling that you're gonna say they really suck. And the reason I say that is kind of the whole point of this video. Um, so I've been, I've been going around in some of these um, Facebook and other social media groups and people are complaining about slow sales. Yet it would be, yet whenever you listen to some of these gurus on eBay, they're saying the fourth quarter is gonna be the best quarter ever. And for some people it might be, um, fortunately for myself, I'm having an excellent uh, year in general, um, but I think I know why some people are having issues. So let me go ahead and just dive in here. Here's a question. This is from people in the community. These are people just like you and me. These aren't these content creators blowing smoke up your butt, okay? Uh, I'm not going to try to sell you some some package at the end of this. I'm not gonna to try to sell you some crappy mystery box. So I'm just doing this. I don't get any money for it. Just trying to help out. So let's just dive right in. So I was on Facebook and someone, this refers more to Poshmark, but the platforms are roughly the same from what I've heard. Um, so the question that this person's asking has Poshmark been really slow for anybody else in the last two weeks? And so I'm just going to read off some of these. It looks like there's 77 comments, and I, I glanced over it. It looks like most the answers are the same. Yes, it's been slow. So one, I agree these past few months have been really slow. November has been the slowest month yet. Next, a little slow. Yes. Yes, Poshmark seems to rarely run specials and no, no advertising. Etsy has an ad on YouTube constantly. Uh, I don't sell on Etsy. I don't know. I will assume this person's correct. Um, but I, yeah, I don't, I don't see that Poshmark does any advertising. Maybe they do. Let's see. This happened last year as well. Unfortunately, Poshmark... Poshmark sales slow down during Christmas, even if you have lots of new tags and will pick back up after Christmas. Now, later on in the video, I may get into, I would have to probably disagree with this person only because I feel that a lot of people who are saying that they're having the slowest sales are the people who are not selling new items. Uh, but we'll discuss that in a little bit here. Yes, it's been very slow. Oh yeah. Mine has been very dead, but finally woke up Thanksgiving weekend. Well, that's good. Good to hear. Uh, lots of shares and follows. No sales for two weeks. Okay, now there's something, something wrong there. But again, we will go over probably why uh, the sales are slow. Nothing all November. Crickets. Yes, yes. Uh, me too. Been slow for other platforms as well. No sales at Posh, at Posh uh, since before Thanksgiving. Same, same, yes, really strange for me. Yes, very, very, very slow. Usually this time of year, I am at least selling five I items a day. Now I'm lucky if I sell five items in two weeks. Uh, okay, so yeah, that's a bummer. That is a real big bummer. Um, normally, this is the time of year when things pick up because we're, we're in that holiday season, November, well, we're in December, sorry, and Christmas is around the corner. Uh, a lot of times people, they'll go on the sites such as eBay, Poshmark, Macari, etc., looking for gifts for, you know, family members, kids, uh, usually at a better price than what they would be able to get at the department store. So why are people having slow sales? Um, I want to say the biggest thing is because, again, since we are hitting, we're getting close to Christmas, people are wanting to buy new items, not pre-owned, used items. They want to buy new items. Um, now, I mean, there's going to be a little niche of, you know, people wanting vintage or, you know, something of that nature, video games. 
okay, that's fine. But for the most part, selling new items, that's what sells. Um, I personally, probably 90, 95% of my business deals with shoes. And the biggest portion of those shoes are brand new shoes. Now, me, I source from, I source from the Goodwill uh, for my used stuff, and every once in a while, I'll find new things. Um, I also source at um, Burlington, um, TJ Maxx, uh, Ross, and there's some other places. Um, and I feel that for the people who are not having any success, it's because people's money is being allocated to those new items for Christmas. So what can you do? Well, besides buy new items, I mean, you can try doing a few things within your closet. Um, a few things that I will do periodically, if I have something that's been sitting there, I, I usually recheck the comps, see what's going on. And just don't do it by one platform. You'll have a lot of people say, check comps on eBay. Well, different platforms sell different types of items better than the other. So if I'm, I'll look, I always, I always look at eBay, but if I'm selling something on Poshmark, I'll look and see what the price is on there. If I'm selling something on Macari, I will see what the price is on that platform. Sometimes the prices will be all over the place. It's strange, but that goes back to, you know, what these sites are, you know, really advertising or, or what they're, uh, what they're bringing in for people. Um, so yeah, definitely recheck your comps. Um, if it's in there, it's probably too, it's probably too high. You might need to lower your price. Uh, another thing that you might want to do is look at your pictures. I know that me, I always try different things, um, with lighting or with boxes using different adding software. So I'm, I'm, I hate to say it, me personally, I, I am not too consistent because I like to try different things and see what works. Um, and I will find some stuff that's been sitting around for a while and I'll look at the picture and I'll be like, okay, that is why it's not selling. That's just a terrible picture. Maybe it's too dark, maybe it's not enough pictures. Um, even how I source, sometimes I will source stuff on let's say Mercari or Poshmark. And a lot of the times my best finds are awesome items, but the pictures are just so bad that it turns people away. They don't realize that it's, you know, a great, great product. Uh, so I'm able to swipe those things up for pretty darn cheap. Um, same thing, if you have an item that's maybe not that great, but if you're taking great pictures, you're gonna have a lot better odds of selling that um, than with the bad pictures. Another thing is check check your titles and descriptions. Um, I know I've been bad with uh, those things in the past. Even sometimes I, I go I sometimes go fast when I'm, when I'm posting things. Uh, sometimes the uh, descriptions don't make sense. Sometimes they're just not detailed enough. Um, also make sure you disclose any types of damages. Um, it's always a bummer whenever you make the sale, the buyer gets the product and then you get a request for return because it wasn't as described and it happens to all of us. And sometimes it's something so minor, but yeah, just make sure that you disclose all of that. I'm trying to think some are pointers. Um, Another thing is make sure that uh, you're sending out offers to people who like the items. Um, offer free shipping, things such as that. I mean, I'm not, I'm not going to go into complete detail here um, on what you should do. Um, again, I'm not a, really a content creator um, in the same sense as a lot of these other people on here. I just thought I'd make this quick video or maybe it's like 10 minutes. But just a video on um, on maybe why your Q4 sales are not that great. So I'm gonna end the video there. I hope everybody has a good night. If you have any questions, you know, comments, concerns, uh, shoot me a, shoot me something down below.
If not, uh, I don't make a lot of videos. I might start making a few more though. So we'll see. All right, we'll take care.